Now what happens, your lens is up there with a the camera shooting this way. We have the carts both sides full of extras dressed in period time. And as they get to the door, they hold on to the veil and they actually come towards the camera, right? You're only seeing what you want to see. You're not really seeing what's really there. You're only seeing what the camera can fool you that make you believe what you just saw. When you see the movie, you can swear, wow, that's a big train station. They have no idea it's a tiny little box. And we have luggage here, we have conductors, we have other people sitting on benches, we have the arrival and departure board, it looks the real thing, right? And when the actor walks this way, and he gets down and he climbs into the stagecoach and rides off, I mean, it looks like the real McCoy, I mean, it looks like the real thing. And like what they call it, the world of magic. Cheater, and then I go boom, and then boom, and then a left, and then a block, and stomach. And then This here is sort of what they call a uh, 38 Derringer. Uh, as many of you seen the movie Maverick, he would use this spring-loaded on many westerns. Also, saloon girls, so-called prima donnas, would wear it in their knee garter as they would protect themselves. Uh, a lot of them carry it as an extra gun in their back or whatever. And it's all called a 38 Special which is not as powerful as a 45. We're going to give you a demonstration what, it's, what it would do to you. Colt 45, the gun that won the West. It was a hog leg 12 gauge shotgun. Long barrel 12 gauge shotgun. 